Republic Financial Holdings Limited, which owns the Republic Bank operations in the Caribbean, announced in November 2018 that it will be acquiring Scotia Bank operations in several regional territories, including Guyana. Even as the deal has been approved in other Caribbean states, the Bank of Guyana has not completed its due diligence relating to the takeover here. Also, the government of Ghana says it is still not in favor of the sale. I think we made our um, views very clear um, earlier this year that we are not in favor of the agreement. Uh, and we, st we said the reasons why we are not in favor of the agreement. That hasn't changed at the level of cabinet, you know. But I, I think the bank is doing what it has to do. And when it's finished, um, it has to pass it over to me so I could take it to cabinet. That was Finance Minister Winston Jordan. Speaking with the major at the sidelines of an event on Monday at the Marriott Hotel, Kingston, Georgetown, the government of Ghana had raised several concerns, noting that if the transaction is approved, RBL will end up owning 50% of the total banking assets in Guyana. Earlier this week, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank approved the transfer of assets and liabilities in several regional territories, but Jordan said that is different from the Guyana situation. The Scotia Bank. Um, in Guyana is not the same as the Scotia Bank in the Eastern Caribbean and um, their role that they play in the Eastern Caribbean is not the same at all. Mr. Jordan in December had explained that if the laws block the Republic Scotia Bank business deal, an alternative transaction is for Scotia Bank to sell its assets to other financial institutions. Bibi Katun reporting for the newsroom.